Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the power and the importance of visualization. Okay, so I'm always talking about how meditation is very powerful and important for you, and it absolutely is. Meditation is key for allowing you to be present and in the moment. We carry around a lot of stress. We worry about our past or we stress over the future. Um, we get overwhelmed and cause ourselves to spend a lot of time in a highly emotional state, which is not the way our bodies are designed to be. We shouldn't be regularly frequenting a fight or flight state in our body that releases too many hormones, too many things and causes your body to be in a state of stress. So meditation allows you physiologically to calm your body down and become centered, which is great for your, for your emotional state, for your physical state obviously for your mind, but what it also does is it gets you centered and in the moment so that you're not worrying about the past or the future, and you can let go and your mind can begin to create from the present moment. So meditation is extremely powerful. There's a lot of benefits about that, and I talk about a lot of those in my different videos. But the next thing I want to talk about is how visualization really helps you and why you want to use it. There's a couple reasons, okay? So most importantly, every day we have about 70,000 thoughts. They say that 90% of those thoughts are repeated day after day. So what's happening is you wake up first thing in the morning and you go, ah, I gotta remember to be that person I was yesterday. So basically you repeat the same life and the same thoughts day after day after day. So if you have 70,000 thoughts and 90% of them repeated, you get up every morning and remind yourself to be the person that's not motivated, the person that doesn't have willpower to not snack, the person that doesn't like their job, or the person that's anxious and nervous and is worried about whether people like them or not, okay? So what we're doing is we're repeating a loop and reminding ourselves to be the same person we were. So if you're ever gonna have a chance of creating a new reality, creating a new personal uh, reality, and becoming a different person, seeing different results, you have to have new thoughts come in. You have to have new behaviors. You have to experience new things. You have to change as a person. So what we have to do is we have to break that loop, that record that's running in your mind. We have to reprogram it. So if 70,000 of your thoughts are going on every day repeating and most of them are telling you you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you don't have the tools to be successful or be fulfilled, then what we have to do is we gotta start creating new thoughts, okay? When meditation's important and powerful and affirmations, they start to rewrite the program and replace those thoughts. We wanna take the negative thoughts out of the bucket and start filling the bucket, our other bucket, with the positive thoughts. But what's important with this is it's one thing to just to say things to ourselves and to think about it, to have mantras and affirmations or prayers. But you have to start believing it. You have to start seeing it and more importantly, feeling it. This is where visualization becomes so important. So what you want to do is if you think about it, our, our minds are just a collection of our memories. So what's happening is, is every memory that reminds us today to be who we were yesterday is a memory that's tied to a vision of what we're seeing and it's tied to an emotional state, that the way that vision, that memory made us feel. And so we have to rewrite all those programs in our mind if we want to change. So what we want to do is you want to create a vision of seeing yourself being successful doing something. You want to actually start imagining it so your mind can get comfortable with the idea. It has a lot of practice seeing you be unsuccessful or unhappy, right? There's a lot of practice of every day 70,000 thoughts and 90% of them are repeating that. You're seeing that same movie run over and over and over in your mind. You have to create a new movie and your mind has to get familiar and get confident with believing you are that new person or that new thing you want to be. So what you do is you envision in your mind, you create pictures, you meditate, and then you get a picture in your mind of what you want to see, what you want to be, what you want to have, what you want to do. And you start stepping into it. We call it associating into the memory. What you want to do is you want to create little memories, little movies of yourself being successful at doing and being and having all the things you want. And more importantly, you want to keep meditating on it, keep focusing on that vision until you feel it. That's the key. You have to have your emotions become comfortable and familiar. Your emotions are used to being scared or afraid or anxious, or depressed or angry or sad or whatever the emotion is. If you want to feel different and get different results, you have to practice being that new emotion, practice being that new person. You're getting a lot of practice being the old you. The only way to get practice being the new you who you haven't done yet is to start in your mind because you haven't been able to create it in reality yet. So you envision being successful, doing that thing you want to do, or being that person you want to be. Get in touch, associate, meditate on what it'd be like to really be that person, to accomplish that goal, to feel what it's like to be the person you want to be who's doing all the things you want to do or having all the things you want to have. When you begin to really feel the emotion, you, call, you create an emotional imprint. That's when things start to change. Then what happens is your body goes, oh, I believe I could be this. I've actually felt that before because your body doesn't tell, can't tell the difference. 
Your body cannot tell the difference between an experience that happened in reality and one that just happened in your mind. If you close your eyes and think about a stressful time in your past or something that happened that was really funny, something that scared you, you could bring up the same emotional state. Your body will react to what your mind is envisioning and it believes it's there. So you can create future memories, future events that you're gonna step into, visions of who you want to be, but you have to have them emotionally tied to who you want to be, so the emotion imprints there. What it does is it builds a confidence and a familiarity so that you start overriding that negative loop and start creating a new loop, a new record that's inside your mind that you created. So every day you wake up and it starts reminding you to be this person instead. So instead of 70,000 thoughts over here and 90% repeat, let's have 70,000 thoughts and have 50% of them repeating and slowly change that number. Start having new memories you're creating, new emotional states of being. So number one, when you envision, when you use visualization, it's very powerful because it's gonna create a reality for you, a confidence and a belief that you can be that new person you want to be. You have to be able to see it and you have to be able to feel it so your body can be confident when it steps into that experience, right? They've done a lot of tests where they have people like give somebody a bow and arrow they've never shot before and they try to put it in their hand and shoot the bow and arrow and they're terrible at it. And then they give the bow and arrow to some people and they say, before we give this to you and have you shoot, we're gonna have you envision in your mind shooting the bow and arrow over and over and over and seeing yourself hit the target. Somebody will sit and meditate for 10, 15, 20 minutes and see themselves shooting and shooting and hitting the target. Next thing you know, they put it in this person's hand who's never used a bow and arrow before, and they do pretty darn well. They either hit the target or they're really close to it. But the difference between someone who is thought confidently about it and connected to seeing themselves successfully accomplish something and someone who hasn't is vastly different. So it's proven that this will create a much higher level of success for you. And it's the difference between if you're seeing success in your life or not. Because you may be telling yourself all the time you want to be these things or writing down goals, but if you don't feel it and you don't believe it, you're not going to execute the same way and you're not going to recognize it when the opportunity comes up. The other part of visualization that's so powerful, you know, we can only focus on five to nine things consciously at any given time. So if you're running around with lists, grocery lists, laundry lists, kid, pick up the kids, stuff for work, things I got to do, uh, go to the gym, all the stuff you're thinking about you want to do and you're holding your mind, what's happening is there's other things you're not thinking about. There's other things that are falling out and every time you add something to the to-do list, something falls out. So there's only so much you can focus on at once. That's so we don't get overwhelmed. Um, but what happens is, is you start to visualize on something. It's important, create a vision board. I keep one on my phone, I use Pinterest. I just have a vision board I created in there and I just add pictures to it all the time. So when I wanna get myself in a good emotional state, I can pop in there and look at some pictures of things under fitness or uh, travel that I like to do. Different things that motivate me. Puppies, cute puppies that make me feel good and smile. But the thing is, is you can look at a picture, like they say a thousand words, it will quickly move you to a state of being. So my point is, create a vision board. Besides visualizing in your mind, create a vision board so you have an easy access to bring you to these highly uh, emotional states that you wanna be in. They're gonna build confidence and imprint on you so you can start seeing and feeling the world around you to be what you want it to be. What it also does is it starts putting those into the files in the back of your mind. You don't have to go around looking for the things anymore. Your mind will unconsciously pick up on the stuff you're looking for. Oh, that's the trip I want to take. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. That's the instrument I wanted to play. That's the car I wanted to drive. Your mind will recognize it without you having to work so hard consciously at it, okay? And so it's important to create that, that, that vision board and use that so you can see the world around you and start to seize opportunities. The other thing is great is you start to recognize very clearly what doesn't fit in your world. So you become better at making decisions because you'll recognize whether this person, place, thing, skill, etc., is actually fitting with the vision of where you want to go or not. So it's harder for you to miss out on opportunities and easier for you to seize them. So again, try to uh, start visualizing today. It's very powerful. If you're already meditating, fantastic. If you're not, you should definitely do it once or twice a day for at least even five minutes. It's incredible for your physical health. It'll reduce your blood pressure, bring your stress down, your heart rate gets you grounded, then obviously when you're more oxygenated, you can use your brain better. You're physiologically able to operate and perform at a higher level. On top of that, you'll start balancing the scales between spending more time envisioning and believing and feeling like the person you wanna be rather than the person you don't wanna be. And it will start to create a map in your mind for the things you want to accomplish in your life so you can seize them and recognize them when they're there and make good decisions to keep you from repeating bad decisions or taking someone or something into your life it isn't on the path you're going, okay? Good luck with this. Keep the DMs coming in. Thank you for all the messages. I appreciate that. After you watch this video and try this, uh, let me know how it works for you. Hit me up with a DM, and I hope you have a great week.